Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 22 of, uh, 22? Yeah, 22 of KMB Comer Plays Minecraft. This is Kevin Comer, and I am over at Guac's house right now. Um, he was trying to completely mob-proof uh, this cobblestone area. He was tired of creepers blowing up his lawn. So I gave him a little bit of help with that. Um... You know, he he put up this cobblestone wall and he dug down uh, all around the his his yard here. Um, but he didn't really know how to spider proof uh, spider proof the place, so I helped him out with that. Which you know, not too difficult. Put this cobblestone lip on. So yeah, I am really good at this game. I knew how to do that. Hey, Creeper, get out of here. This is Guac's place, and he doesn't like you. Yeah, but uh, I also did a little redstone project for him that I think is kind of cool. You can see it here. Um, this is to keep mobs off that ledge there. This is the entrance to his base. So you hit this button here, puts the stairs up, and then... You go over the pressure plate there, and it retracts them. And then there's, the, there's also a button on this side to bring them out and put them back down. And, you know, of course this isn't a hugely complicated project, but, um, yeah, I wanted to help him out a bit so we can go down and take a look at the redstone. It's, uh, you know, can probably be more compact. So, basically, right here, um... Is that going to break something? Yeah, that broke something, but I can fix it. We just have, uh, here is the double piston extender. That's just a design by uh, Minecraft Addict. Um, and then I added on right here, just uh, this line goes around and powers the other piston. So pretty simple. And here we have... Uh, just, you know, a supercharged T flip-flop that goes to the input block for the double piston extender, which is right here. And, uh, yeah, so the button on the outside comes down from here to that dust, through here to the torch. That, that, that's the supercharging torch. And then on the other side, we just have a button above here. There's, there's dust on top of that block goes through that repeater down to the line and the pressure plate uh, is right above there that uh, just follows some redstone over so everything's hooked into the T flip-flop which controls the stairs and you know pretty simple pretty fast project to do um, took me I don't know 20 minutes to finish it up but it it's cool it works well and uh, just helping out my friend you know so um yeah, there's some redstone. Uh, and now I'm going to head back to my place, uh, to the Iron Golem farm. And I am going to get working on uh, the tower we're putting there, which is the Banker's Trust building. So I'll see you back there. Okay, we are back at the Iron Golem farm, and I did... A whole bunch of cleaning up here. I got rid of the spiral, which was cool looking, but ultimately temporary and in the way for what's next. Got rid of some of the rails. I took down the old breeding cell, which was right there. Uh, and then I looked intently at my SketchUp model of uh, the Banker's Trust building and worked out a few things so I can get started on building so first of all uh, this guy's gonna come for me not today I say uh, first of all I worked out that ground floor is going to have to be here at uh, at 69 so I'll just put that to demarcate where our ground floor is and uh, so the reasoning behind that is because uh, the lower part of the building has a lot of really cool details on it and stuff that kind of um, impose on the interior space of the building. 
uh, and I need to stay underneath the uh, villager holding cells on the side there because those come out quite far. So uh, yeah, I need to keep that lobby part low enough that it'll stay underneath there. Um, so I need 23 block clearance and those are at... Oh, did I look at one? Where is he? I guess we're okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so at 69, uh, yeah, I need 23 block clearance. The underside of that is 92. So that should work out just fine. Um, so then to get started with the um, most basic part of the tower, which is just the central part above the lower part that has a lot of details and below the um, upper part that uh, that um, <laughs> lost my train of thought there that also has some cool details uh, we need to go up 26 blocks from um, our ground floor so I can Calculate that out, so we go 69 plus 26, uh, that's not right, minus 10, so we got to go up to 95, that is where we start building here, so uh, this cobblestone around the outside um, shows the dimensions of the building, 31 by 31 is what we're doing, so I will just pillar up to, what did I say it was, now I've forgotten. Let me check my calculator. 95. Yes. So, we will get up to 95 here. And this is where we start our construction. So, uh, yeah. So what we have here is we come in with this snow. Four blocks from the corner. This is what I worked out. Um... And then, well, obviously there will be a one block high course of snow underneath here. And we will have to uh, kind of attach this to the villager breeding cells here. Um, so I'm going to have to knock out a little bit of the wall of this and replace it with some of the materials I have here. Uh, but yeah, so we come in four blocks and then we got... A window of glass panes and then a one block and then another window of glass panes and one more block and then we have uh, yeah we have two blocks between and then we repeat the pattern here so window snow uh, window and then here is where we have to get a little bit fancy here Oh, yeah, I'm completely full. Um, oh, I don't need to eat right now. Darn. Maybe if I jump up and down enough, I can take some of my food bar away. So I don't want to just throw away a steak. Oh, it's not working. Okay, I'll just continue on. I think I can safely... Yeah, I can take out all this without letting these guys out. Hello, how are you? Probably pretty terrible. Your life sucks. I'll just take all of this out. We can go ahead and replace that. Still nothing? Come on, come on. Alright, whatever. Uh, so, we were at... Uh, two blocks of snow. So I will just leave that one empty for now. And, uh... Just do that. So that would be the first block of snow where the stake is that I don't want to knock off the edge. And then uh, we have windows. Whoops, that's not right. That's why I brought silk touch. We have snow all along here still. Yes, that is correct. And glass here. Snow. Yeah, I'm doing this right. And so, this snow block, that is the dead center of uh, everything here. And then more glass, and snow, and 
more snow yes more snow why can't I get rid of any food so that's kind of the pattern I'm going here uh, that is what we are looking at for a long way up <laughs> you know I gotta repeat this um, well actually yeah this darn uh, all right well the steaks gonna have to go by steak I'll miss you um, these these glass windows are actually one higher so but you know you can only build two below you so oh I'm not gonna be able to get that give me give me yes all right <laughs> okay so this is what we're looking at and then we have a layer of snow here and then we just repeat the pattern so four in like so and glass so we have three high windows and like I said I gotta repeat this up for 20 repetitions so I got a lot of work ahead of me got a lot of materials uh, I don't think what I have will be enough but we'll see it might be I don't know I didn't do any rough calculations or guesses as to how much I was gonna need for this so it'll be a surprise but I'm gonna do some building and then uh, I'll get back to you all right well I'm up uh, nearly halfway with one wall so uh, you know we're approaching an eighth of one small part of the tower done but uh, I've kind of worked out a pattern here, so I'm getting these done pretty quick. So like I said, I come in four, and then two panes, and two blocks, and two panes, and then we go uh, two blocks in a row, and then like so, and two in a row again, and two in a row, panes, blocks, panes, and then two in a row, and we should be on our last set here, yeah. And then, you know, to make sure I did it right, all I have to uh, check is that I have four at the end here, four snow blocks in a row, and then the next layer, ooh, see that iron golem? Next layer is really easy. I'm running really low on blocks here, but I think I can get this done. Anytime there's a snow block, just hit two more on top and anytime there's a pain you put one more pain and then a snow block so it's a pretty simple pattern and uh, yeah it's not taking too long to build but it is a little tedious and I'm sure watching it isn't whoops there I just went and messed it up give me that back I'm sure watching me build this is not the most exciting thing, so uh, I think I'll probably cut again here as soon as I'm done this layer, and uh, yeah, did I say I have to go up 20 courses? I have to go up 21, so um, that's 84 blocks from our starting point, which was uh, 95, I believe. Um, let me just calculate it here, yes, 95 plus 84 we have to be at 179 before we're done here and we are at 132 from uh, 95 so yeah about halfway um, and I'm gonna have to find a way to get down I'll probably just jump onto that ladder and get some more materials so I'll see you when I have this wall done and we'll take a look at it so I'll be back all right uh, SRBK aka anti is over here uh, checking out the iron golem farm she's never seen one so I just was explaining it to her and now we're gonna kill and oh wow that is noisy oh boy let me turn down the sound just a little bit for that oh man that's loud so there were I don't know a lot in there like 60 ish so we'll see how much iron we get from that and I noticed uh, in the comments on one of the videos somebody was asking about uh, why I have the spawning cells spaced so far apart and the answer to that is that um, villages need to be a certain distance apart for the game to see them as separate villages 
and vertically I believe that number is uh, is 64 blocks apart so in order to get that spacing we just um, went 70 from bottom to bottom uh, you know I didn't do any of the calculations for figuring that part out uh, that was done by I guess JL but uh, if anybody's looking for more information on how this all works um, you can google Doc M77 uh, Iron Golem, just that should give you his really really top-notch tutorial on how to build this thing and it's uh, you know it's not the easiest task it took many hours but um, it's well worth it as you can see from this harvest how many do we have left in there Ooh, we got uh, a few left and yeah so you can check out the tutorial there and he explains the mechanics a little bit better there but yeah I, you have to be very careful to vertically space them out properly and also horizontally you need to space this out from any other villages uh, nearby and also you gotta be careful about having wooden doors anywhere near this I'm pretty sure but yeah so basically what's going on is the game sees each of the three cells stacked vertically as a separate village and that's why it works so um, I hope that explanation helped and looks like we're almost done harvesting here uh, come on burn up there we go and done we got uh, nearly four and a half stacks of iron so that is really good and I have over whoops 3,000 iron bars now and lots of roses so that's really good we're gonna be able to get a lot of hoppers out of that and yeah so uh, phones going off that's that and I'm almost done um, building that wall up so we'll take a look at that as soon as I finish and uh, I'll be back in a minute well I have one wall built all the way up uh, to 179 actually 180 so I could cap it off with a snow block and not leave glass panes exposed uh, at the top and I'll show you what it looks like I think it's looking better than I had hoped for um, you know when you're doing a real life building sometimes you have to take a few liberties with the uh, dimensions you know I'm trying to get the overall dimensions right but spacing between windows window height uh, corner width is all a little bit different than true to life but ooh, I think that's looking great I'm really liking that and it's gonna do a really nice job disguising the farms there um, yeah I'm happy I'm very happy with how that's turning out so far so I'm gonna continue on and start on wall two so it's not just uh, big flat facade and nothing else but uh, the bottom layer here is kind of funny because um, it seems like it's close enough to the ground here to spawn uh, zombie invasions like uh, mostly over in that corner where it's um whoops can I get up there yeah over in that corner where it's less lit up on the uh, the ground so I get zombie invasions over here <laughs> uh, but you know they they don't seem to be close enough um, to aggro those villagers so they'll all come after me hey iron golem falling they'll all come after me instead and uh, that's kind of funny it's like a little experience farm down here sometimes um, you know they'll, they'll all spawn here and then they'll all wander into this water pool and get stuck and I've come over here and found like nine or ten zombies in here it, whoa you know I'm pretty aggressive around here with my running and jumping and I seem to get pretty lucky I haven't died too many times um, but one of these times is gonna get me probably on camera but uh, yeah I'm gonna start on the second wall but actually, uh, before I do that, just going to go take a look at what we got for golems down there. See what we had spawn. Well, uh, since I got from about halfway up the wall to the top, 
Um, just checking out the rates. I'm, it's really, really super efficient. Like, it feels like almost borderline cheating. Like, look how many we got in there already. This is like 18, so... You know, I'm getting more than two stacks an hour. Maybe like three stacks of iron an hour. Iron ingots just by being around here. And I love it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep working and I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, my plan to pre-record a few episodes has not been going too well. Um, but first, I came down here to enchant a new sword because my old one broke. So let's get, do that first. Um, yeah, already level 30, so I just let the other one break because it wasn't anything too special. So let's hope we get something a little better here. We get... Wow. Well, I guess it'll work for now. Um, what is this for? Not the best sword ever, but um, ah, we'll use that one till it breaks. So yeah, my my plan to pre-record, like I said, hasn't been going too well. Uh, we had some problems with the server here. Um, we were getting some rollbacks, like I would build for... 20 or 30 minutes and then the server would crash and I'd lose all that progress so I spent the last day trying to fix that and then eventually just gave up and uh, we're with the new host now so um, performance seems a lot better paying a little bit more for it but um, getting a lot more dedicated RAM and that sort of thing but uh, yeah so uh, I had one wall done and now I have all four walls done and I think this is looking really good. Took maybe, um, I don't know, 150 stone shovels worth of uh, snow to build that. Not sure how many snow blocks went into it, but um, it was a lot. But, uh, you know, the harvesting doesn't take too long if you got the strategies right. Uh, so yeah, you can see, got it the same on all sides and I'm really really happy with the way that's looking and uh, this looks like a little example of one of those zombie invasions that spawns around here and then can't can't get to anything uh, let's see do we have any other zombies around here um, yeah so uh, this episode is just about done, but I am going to try to get a couple more recorded before I leave on my trip. Um, so I'll be working on that very soon, and I got some good ideas of what to do. So that should be good. That guy's still there. I really wish this had knockback on it. Knockback is indispensable, but that's alright. I figured, uh, last thing we do... Man, that's... It's a big top. That's a big tower. Last thing we do before I end this episode is uh, go harvest the golems one more time because the whole time I was building the last two walls, I was letting them build up. So we should have uh, like 70, something like that. Yeah, 72. I'll turn down the sound for this because um, you know it's loud for me too. So. We'll check out how much iron we get from that, and um, I think in the next episode, I'll be heading over to uh, a new place we found. Um, while the server was rolling back, I didn't really have a lot to do, so I went exploring and just started sailing across the ocean and uh, ended up stumbling across a witch hut. And I have the coordinates written down, so it should still be there now. So uh, I think we'll probably go take a look at that in the next episode. And this is going to take a while to kill them all because, uh, you know, these guys over here, two at a time, bounce over into it. How much we got so far? So yeah, I'm probably going to... Wow. 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 This thing is incredible. Incredibly overpowered. Um, yeah, I'll probably... Uh, first thing in the next episode, dig over to uh, the location 
of the witch hut in the nether, throw up a portal, see if that uh, brings me out there uh, in the right spot. If not, I'll have to take a boat over there again. And then uh, maybe we'll set up some uh, some spawning platforms or something and see if we can't get a little something going over there. So, um, yeah. I probably won't make you guys watch me kill all these golems, but I think that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.